Hey, good evening, friends. Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Diamond. We're off up last time. Um, we were, we got here to Pastore City. We showed both ways on how to go about with Pastore City. And now in this part, we are going to go ahead and make our, and make our way and take on the gym of Pastore City. So without further ado, let's go ahead and make our way down this way. So let's do it. Okay, so this gym is a water type gym. Yeah, we don't see those very often, right? Just kidding. Uh, anyway, uh, the gym is actually not different from the gym in Platinum. And because of the water gym, make sure you have grass or electric type Pokemon. You don't want to use fire types. You also don't want to use water types, nor steel type. Those are bad for you. So therefore, I gave Amy the, the XP share, so that way, I can, uh, well, that way I can, you know, give it, give her some XP because I know she's gonna be missing out on a lot. Okay, so first up, before I begin, I'm gonna go ahead and put. Uh, uh, no, I did not mean to use fly. I did teach stand fly off screen uh, because I because I know I'm gonna that's gonna be coming that's gonna be very useful. All right, so the way the gym works is every time you hit these switches right here, the water the water level changes. So you have to try to work your way around that. Fortunately, I think I screwed up. No, I did not. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, actually. I actually, I actually want to hit the switch right here. So you want to leave that green, you want to leave that green button alone. So then, so that way you can go ahead and make your way to the bottom parts of this gym. And let's see, uh, make your way up this way. And let's see what what else we got going on here. Uh, I don't exactly remember this gym off the top of my head. I memorized it very well during my Platinum Nuzlocke challenge, but because I haven't played any of those games in a while, it's gonna take a while. Okay, so then do that, and then it'll create a little pathway to make your way down this way, and we have a new trainer class. These are sailors. Sailors, just like every other trainer in this gym, they use water Pokemon. So then go ahead and hit this right here and it'll bring us to the very top level of the, of, of the water level, which is great stuff. I already fought that trainer, but not only that, we get to get across that, we get to get across this, because uh, notice how we're actually at the beginning of the gym puzzle, but with, high, with higher water level. I'm not using Sparkle throughout this gym because I really don't want her to overpower most of, to, to, to overpower everything. So I just want I want to give all of my other team members a chance here. Okay, so after hitting this this switch right here, go ahead and make your way downstairs. You want to leave this one alone, otherwise you're gonna mess things up. So then hit this, so hit this right here, then make your way back up here and head down this way. 
and then make your way up and around up here. And I believe this should be the last guy. Like the raging sea, I crash down and wash away everything before me. That's just how I roll. Then hit this right here, and then we shall be at the gym later. Okay, we're here. I don't get challenged very often. Why is that? You look like a really cool guy for for you for someone to challenge you a lot. The glory, the glory you are now beholding is the Pastoria gym leader. That's right, I'm Crusher Wake. My Pokemon were toughened by stormy white wa by stormy white waters. Did I read that correctly? I don't know. They'll take everything, everything you can throw at, at them, and and then pull you under. Victory will be ours. All right, here we go. It is time to take on Crusher Wake. Well, he's called Wake, but that's wrong. It's Crusher Wake. So first things first, he's gonna start off with probably one of the more harder Pokemon to take out. Uh, this is Gyarados, level 27, water flying, so with the Intimidate ability, it has Brine, Dragon Rage, Bite, and Slagger. Oh boy, I do not like this Gyarados at all, and I will never, I will never, ever get along with a Gyarados, ever when I do battling, in any way, shape, or form. There is one particular Pokemon game where Gyarados doesn't exist at all, hint, hint, but I won't spoil that, because that's a later game. Okay, anyway, that's that's taken out, so there we go. Okay, next up is gonna be Quagshire. Okay, I cannot use I cannot use uh, Sparkle for this because Spark can do absolutely nothing to it. So I'm gonna try to use Gloria for this one. Uh, just to give it a chance, just to give her a chance. So Quagsire is on level 27, Water Grants with a Damp ability. It has Slam, Mud Bomb, Mud Sport, and Tail. It's another reason why I don't want to use Sparkle. Uh, mud, uh, mud Bomb can be a pain in the butt move if uh, it lands, and plus it can, it it'll ha have a chance of lower lowering down my accuracy. I don't want that to happen. And here comes Mud Spore, which means my, which means uh, when I next time I send out Sparkle, it's gonna be, it's not gonna do very much damage, which is gonna be unfortunate. And there goes the Super Potion for Crash Awake, which is very unfortunate. Oh my gun, oh my goodness. Well, at least I got the confusion in. That's good. So let's uh, see what else we can do. Let's go ahead and stomp on it. Hopefully, I, hopefully I can flinch it. Or take it out. Nope. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I thought I could. I that was hopeful. That was hopeful. Dang. Okay, well, let's keep trying. You did not heal up twice. Why? Why is that? Is this is this game just trying to be easy on me or something? Because I'm pretty overleveled right now. And I really don't want to be too overleveled as of right now. Otherwise then that's not otherwise then. It's gonna- things are gonna turn out to be pretty... Well, there's- well, the game isn't gonna be fun for me if I'm too overleveled, and I don't really want- want that to happen. Okay, anyway. Uh, next up is the final Pokemon, which is Slow Soul, level 30. Water type with Swift's ability. It has Brine, Ice Fang, Pursuit, and Swift. That was a good move indeed. Okay. So hopefully, I can do this. Uh, I do- it- Mud Sports effect is still on, so I hope that I- won't get too. Ooh, okay. Going for the Ice Fang right, right, right off the bat. Ice Fang does have a chance of either flinching or freezing me, and I hope that I don't get frozen because that would be really, really bad. Oh my goodness, that was that 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 was that was. See if is see if that Quagsire did not use Mud Mud Sport, then I would probably would have taken it out in one hit. Otherwise, then, yeah. What? You did not heal up twice? Gym leaders are supposed to have two healing items. I don't know why. 
Uh, I don't know why these these gym leaders are making making this look really easy because it re really isn't supposed to be that easy. But no matters, we won. So there we go. It's gone and ended. How oh, I say this? I want more. I want it to battle a lot more. Yeah, that was pretty fun. And with that, we get the Fen Badge. I don't know what Fen is, but I'm sure it has to do with... I'm pretty sure it has or ha or it does or does not have to do with water. I don't know. So with that, we can use Defog outside of battles, which is great. Which is an HM that we happen to have. And we got the TM55 for Brine! It is basically... Well, Perla has that move. And I haven't really used it much, but I'm sure I'll put more more use to it later. Okay, so we're pretty much done here. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and heal myself up. Okay, now that we're done with all that, let's see. If you're wondering where is what to do now, well, uh, let's see. Hello. Packs finally came from from no, from the Veilstone warehouse. So now it's my job to deliver this to the Lake. This is an important mission. No failure allowed. No making boo boos like wandering off into the Great Marsh. Hello, what are you saying? I wasn't in a hurry. I provided you with my Pokemon, but I have to get but I have to get on my way to to the to Lake ASAP. So you're not you're so you're lucky. I'm out. Oh, and listen up, you don't you dare follow me. Okay, I won't follow you, but I just happen to, but I just happened that I need to go this way, so Yeah. Hey, what's up? Persistent pest! If our plan works, our boss's dream comes closer to you. Fruitin. Fruition. What what? What? Our boss's ideal world is going to be created, so I'm not going to waste my time on a nobody like you. I'm telling you now, don't you come chasing after me. Okay, well, I'm not really chasing after you. I just happen to come to the direction that you're going. Just saying. I'm not always going to plow into you every time we meet. So, so how's it going? Buffing up your Pokemon? Okay, time for a battle. Okay, in Platinum, you actually fight Barry right before you enter the gym, which is pretty strange. But, okay. Here we go. Round three of Barry. Of Barry. Barry starts off uh, uh, just as usual, start, starting off with his with his uh, uh, main Pokemon, which is Starly, level 26, normal flying type with the keen eye ability. He has double team, wing attack, and Endeavor. Let's go for Shockwave and see what happens from there. Please be the hit. Okay, there we go. Also, be careful with double team because double team can be a really annoying move. It can be really, it can be really depressing once it once he starts using it many, 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 many times. Okay, next up is going to be Ponyta or Roselia uh, if you don't have a Pipla. Um, his Ponyta is on level 25, Fire type with the Flash Fire uh, ability. It has Stop, Ember, and Growl. Um, if you don't have a Pipla, he will instead have. Uh, if you have every other, if you have any other star besides Piplup, you will have a, instead a Roselia, uh, level, uh, which is on the same level. It is a Grass Poison type. It has Poison Sting, Magical Leaf, and Mega Drain. Okay, and next up is gonna be the Starter versus Starter ver mode. We got our Starter Pokemon. Therefore, if you have a Piplup, he's gonna have a Grotto level 28 Grass type with the Overgrow ability. It has Bite, Roselia Leaf, Mega Drain, and Withdraw. If you have a, if you have a gro if you have a Chimchar, he's going to have a Print Plop level 28 Water type with Peck Growl, Metal Claw, and or Peck Growl and Metal Claw. And then if you have a Search, he's going to have a Monferno level 828 Fire Fight type with Mock Punch and Leer only. Weird, but it works. I don't know. It makes I don't know. This, this stuff makes no sense sometimes. Anyway, this is, op this is a great opportunity for me to do a star versus star uh, fight, so that way I don't lose too much HP as I'm doing this, and that is going to be great. And then I can enjoy this rival theme all much more. Because this rival theme is one of the best, in my opinion. And there we go, done. So gain more, all right. So gain more HP. 
and then gain some XP. Alright, next, right, next up is going to be Boizel. Let's go ahead and go back to Sparkle. Boizel is on level 25, water type with a swift swim ability. He has Pursue, Aqua Jet, and Quick Attack. Uh, Pursue is a really powerful move if you, if you attempt to switch your Pokemon. Aqua Jet always goes first, so is Quick Attack. Let's go ahead and... Yeah, I can tell that you raise your Pokemon. Yup. That is right. I, I I did not train these Pokemon all for nothing. So I'm gonna go ahead and go for a Spark here. Hopefully I can do it. This will be the move. This will be the move right here. This will be the move to take to take this Bleasel out. And there we go. We're done. There we go. Almost up to level 34, but that is okay. Maybe I did get a, t get a bit tougher? Oh, come on, dude. What is wrong with you? Yeah, what was that Team Black guy all freaking out about? I don't know. What, what are you gonna do if you're telling me to chase him down, huh? Alright then. Oh, looks like you're heading off to the direction where the Galactic guy's heading off to too. Well, well, good for you. Alright, anyway, uh, let's go ahead and uh, spare ourselves a repel, because I do not want to run to any wild Pokemon, because that would be very sad. Okay, let's go ahead and chase this guy down. Well, actually, there's a Rock Smash Rock right over here, and because and I now that I got- wait, what? Hold on. Bam! There we go. See, that's how you're supposed to do it. Okay, right over here you get the TM40 for Aerial Ice. I'm going to teach that to uh, Stan because Aerial Ice is a flying type move that never misses. I don't know why I didn't I didn't bother to get it before, but it shall. But it, it'll it'll be it'll be good use later. We need the energy from the Valley Wimmerworks to make to make this. It it would take a science scientific genius to make something like this. Therefore, our boss who made this is a scientific genius. Who? What is this, this that you keep me mentioning about? Oh, I was just thinking out loud. You're a persistent pest. I'm tired of getting of running away. But I, but I'm not going to waste my energy knocking you around. All right then. Okay. Well, let's see where's all right. Let's see where this guy's heading up to now. This time around. I probably shouldn't have healed. Wait, actually, hold on. Ah, uh, okay, we're on. Okay, not not bad. Okay, I was thinking about healing up, but eh, all right, whatever. Okay, uh, okay. I'll spec. We're off, and hey, we're back to the lake. <sighs> Why am I running like this anyway? That new universe that the boss was talking about—it's giving me goosebumps thinking about it. So we use this. Hello, what's up? I was only talking to myself. You're, persi you're persistent too. I'm pooped out from all the way. What? So what you're saying is you pooped on your pants or something while running out while trying to run away from me? What the balls is wrong with you? Yeah, I'm still on your tail. What? The la yeah, the lake's in sight, but I will beat you before before you even get to the lake. My Pokemon will KO you. You sound like you're out of breath. So let's get this over with. <laughs> One hit KO. I'll have to give this to the commander. I wish I got to use it at the lake. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Yeah, you better walk slowly out of there. Oh, wait, wait, is that it? Okay, well, oh, oh, okay. Once again, I was thinking of platinum. My goodness. Hello? Yeah, the lake isn't open to the public, unfortunately. There's an island inside the lake, and inside that island is a mirage of a, of a Pokemon. One must enter the chamber of that Pokemon. Wait, did you not see the galactic guy just heading towards your direction? Yeah, I think so.
huddled with their heads in their, uh, hands. What you should do is use the medicine on the Psyduck. Okay. Well, with that we got Secret Potion. I see. Anyway, so with that over, I guess it's time to end up the episode of Pokemon Diamond. So next time on Pokemon Diamond, we're going to go ahead up north from Salacion Town. So now that we got some medicine to deal with the group of Psyduck at, the, at, at, that route, at that route near the cafe, we can go ahead and take it on. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Pokemon Diamond, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye!